In this video, we look at 5 websites performing a free single trick to alter or enhance your images with no software installation required. Hello everyone and welcome to Tech Fix Flicks. We begin by removing the background from our images using Background Burner. Links to this site as well as all of those featured in today's tutorial can be found in the written description accompanying this video. To begin, we either drag and drop a photo or select one from our computer. We therefore click choose a photo and from the dialog which appears, we select a photo to upload. We select this image of Her Majesty the Queen, not as a result of excess patriotism, but rather because she's a universally recognisable figure and because we will specifically look to make use of the colours in the image during this tutorial. We click open and our selected image is uploaded to the website, which begins the process of removing the background from the image, presenting a series of thumbnails and previews from which we can select our optimal starting point. We select this image and are taken to a side-by-side -side comparison with the original. At this stage, the background colour has been fully removed, although the chair remains. We click touch up to advance. By default, we will work with the basic tools and we are presented with a brief summary of their function. The add and subtract tools are used to mark those areas of the image which will be kept and those which will be deleted. Here we use the subtract tool to draw a red line on the image to the left. Note that where we mark the original, the burnt version on the right changes in parallel. Although this requires a steady hand, the tool is quite forgiving and mistakes can be undone using the undo icon. We can also use the zoom tool to perform finer detail work, and here we have corrected the shoulder detail. For precise edits, we can switch to the pixel tools, which are explained here, although note that we didn't need them in this tutorial. Here is the finished side-by-side -side comparison. We have removed the background colour and the chair. To download the completed work, you will need to create an account with Bonanza, or log into an existing account. A new account can be created here, and options to log in with Facebook and Google are also provided. Once logged in, we can download either a JPEG file with a white background or a PNG with a transparent background. As we'll be using both later in this tutorial, we download both. Let's use the transparent PNG file. We've downloaded a fantasy lunar landscape via a Google search, which we'll edit in Paint 3D. And here it is. This will be our background. We select menu and at the menu we select insert. We now select the file which we've just exported with the transparent background and click to open it. Our imported image is positioned in the centre of the frame. Note that apart from the queen herself, the inserted image is transparent, allowing us to see through the mask to the background image. We position the masked image in the lower right corner. Returning to the main menu, we select save as to save the newly amalgamated image. And here is the final version. For our second trick, we will replace colours within an image, and rather than simply replacing uniform flat colour, we will replace multiple shades related to a base colour. We will use the colour replacement tool at IMG Online, and we begin by scrolling down to select the file upon which we will perform the colour replacement. From the usual file selection dialog box, we select the JPEG image with the white background, saved during our background burning tests. In doing so, we highlight that these tricks can be used in combination, with the output of one serving as the input to the next. Now we need to select the colour to be replaced. We could simply pick from the drop down menu, but for a greater degree of control, we will enter a value in hex format by selecting it directly from the source image. To do that, we return to our original file and open it in a paint package of our choosing. In this case, we opt to edit with Paint 3D, available in all recent versions of Windows 10. Our image is displayed in the main editing window, and our objective is to obtain a representative sampling of the base colour, which we intend to replace. We therefore use the dropper tool, and we click on a portion of the image containing the colour we intend to replace. The colour is now selected, and shown in the sample box. We therefore click the sample. The edit colour dialog appears, and in addition to displaying the red, green and blue values for the colour, it also reveals the hex code, which we can input on the web page. We therefore select the hex value by dragging over it, right clicking for a menu and selecting copy to copy the value to our clipboard. We can then simply cancel the edit colour dialog and click to close Paint 3D. Note that a dropper tool is available in many packages and you can replicate this technique with an image editor of your choice. We then return to the website and click inside the hex format box. We then right click and select the option to paste, which pastes the value from our clipboard, specifying this as the base colour which will be replaced. Colours with neighbouring values will be adjusted appropriately. 
We could also input a hex value as the replacement colour. However, in this instance we simply opt to use the drop down, picking yellow as the replacement colour. We reduce the colour replacement intensity from 25 to 10. We arrived at this value purely through experimentation, and this will vary from image to image. If your output image is unsatisfactory, you may wish to return and amend this value. We scroll down, changing the JPEG quality to the maximum of 100. We scroll further and click OK. At this point our image is processed and we have the option to open or download. We choose to view our processed image and whilst it's imperfect, it represents a great starting point for future progress. We also download the image and here is the saved version. We could rerun this process using the saved version to address both the colour of the feathers and the part of the hat in shadow and use a paint package for touch ups. Achieving photorealism is the most complicated use case for colour replacement and this works very well with simple clip art. We found this arrow by performing a Google search and it will be perfect for our project but we need it in red and the graduated fill ordinarily makes it difficult to change the colours. We therefore save the image and return to our recolouring tool. We then choose the saved file selecting our newly saved arrow. We use the drop down menu to select light blue as the colour to be replaced. Again, we could equally have selected a hex value, although that wasn't necessary in this instance. With light blue selected as the colour to be replaced, we accept the default red to replace it. We don't amend the colour replacement intensity this time, but we again set the JPEG quality to 100. Then we scroll down to click OK and download our processed image. And here it is. We've now effortlessly recolored our image from a blue base to red. It's much more difficult to recolor an image from grayscale, requiring a degree of artificial intelligence, which Algorithmia's colorizer can provide. We can paste a URL or upload from our files, and we select the upload option. We select the grayscale version of the file we have been working on thus far, and click to open. Our image is briefly processed, and we can move a slider to show the effect applied. We are actually being somewhat unfair here, as we've seen the correct color, and clearly this is some way out. We can download either the comparison image, showing grayscale and colour, or purely the colourised image, which we opt to do. This is the finished version of the image, and whilst it's far from perfect, it's useful in resurrecting monochrome images for which there are no colour equivalents. On the subject of colour, Adobe's Colour Wheel is an invaluable reference tool for determining complementary colours in design work. Selecting a base colour and applying one of several colour rules will suggest an appropriate palette of complementary colours, together with corresponding hex values, which can be applied to any design to suggest a sophisticated scheme of harmonised colours. Moving the circular handles will change the palette appropriately. Reference is provided in one of four colour modes, and we can also drag and drop files, and here we see the palette generated by our image of the Queen. We can give our images an artistic slant using the tools at 4.to to convert our photographs to drawings and paintings. Let's use the colour pencil drawing as an example. We scroll down to upload a photo from our PC, via a URL or from Facebook. Again, we upload from our saved images, creating this pencil sketch. We can right click to save and share, and we are presented with extensive save and share options. We opt to download, and here is the image generated. We right click and choose to save image as before providing a name and clicking save. Our image is then downloaded. We can use other options to quickly generate further effects. The site offers a huge range of other effect types which are certainly worthy of exploration. Whilst IMG Online also provides a wide range of effects. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found it useful, please consider subscribing by clicking the logo on screen now. If you'd like to see more, there are two suggestions currently on screen. If you have a better, faster or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. You're also welcome to follow us on Twitter. Until your next tech fix, goodbye.